In this video, we're going to talk about support vector machines or SVMs, which have been some of the most successful machine learning algorithms, especially for high dimensional features. SVMs consist of computing linear classifiers, but they differ from basic linear classifiers in that their computations take into account the amount by which the linear classifiers clearly separates, distinguishes the data points of the training data set. Let's call x1, x2 until xn the p-dimensional feature vectors and y1 until yn labels with values in plus or minus 1. For now, let's assume that there exists a separating hyperplane that is a linear classifier that correctly predicts the labels of features of the training data set. The philosophy of SVM here is to compute a consistent linear classifier that maximizes the distance between the separating hyperplane and the data point. Or rather, we will want to maximize the distance between the separating hyperplane and the data point that's the closest to the hyperplane. In mathematical terms, we shall compute the hyperplane which maximizes the minimal distance between the hyperplane and a data point. Note that if an equation of the hyperplane is W transpose X plus B with a Euclidean norm for W equals to 1, then this distance between Xi and the hyperplane will be exactly W transpose Xi plus B. One rather nice way of writing this is by noting that by choosing the right sign for W and B, and assuming the hyperplane is consistent with the labels of the training data set, this distance can be written yi times w transpose xi plus b. Now you can just test the two cases where yi equals to plus 1 and yi equals to minus 1 to convince yourself that this works. This leads us to the following maximization problem to determine the most separating hyperplane. We are going to want to maximize over w and b, the minimum over i, of yi times w transpose xi plus b. Note that this optimization problem is equivalent to a similar program which is minimized over W and B, the norm of W square subject to Yi times W transpose Xi plus B greater than 1. In particular, the constraints here are equivalent to saying that all data points are at distance at least 1 over the norm of W from the hyperplane. In any case, these two problems are convex and thus they can be efficiently solved. Note that like for PCA which we discussed in another video, it is important here to make sure that the different coordinates of the feature vectors are in the same unit in some sense. The resulting separating SVM will depend on this. In any case, what we've just discussed here was hard SVM which has been shown to perform very well in practice. However, hard SVM only applies when data points are linearly separable. This is a bigger assumption, this is very restrictive. To work for any data set, we need to deal with a case where points are not going to be linearly separable. The trick is to allow for errors, which are going to be proportional to the margin by which the error has been made. We're using our dual program, the error for data i can be computed by a slack variable xi i, yielding the following optimization problem. We're going to want to minimize over w, b, and now xi, the error for each, the vector of errors for each data i, lambda times the norm of w squared, so this is again to take into account uh, how well the hyperplane separates the data plus 1 over m times the sum of the xi i. So this is a term that adds up the errors that are made or the not very good separation that we have made. And just to make sure we computed xi i well, uh, we're going to add the constraint that y i times w transpose xi plus b is going to be greater or equal to 1 minus xi i, where the xi i are non-negative. Note that we have a hyperparameter here, lambda, which tells us how much we care about separating data from the hyperplane versus making errors in this separation. In particular, the limit where lambda goes to zero is the case where the violations of the linear separation are 
unacceptable, hence essentially yielding back hard SVM. In fact, the term corresponding to lambda can also be interpreted as a rigorization term which is added to the objective function to avoid overfitting. In any case, this other program called soft SVM is guaranteed to always give you a linear separator and you can use this linear separator to then make prediction on new data later on.